Look, let me tell you one thing. Gambian president was standing there after this Ramadan finished. Gambian president was addressing Gambians. Do you know what he said? He said... Uh, this year, the month of Ramadan coincided with the outbreak of persistent of conflict in certain parts of the world. Like the pandemic, the Russia-Ukraine war, for example, continues to have a negative impact on the global economy. How did, you, how did Ukraine and Russia fight affect Africa? How did that one affect African economy if not Africa leaders depending on Europeans? Ukraine and Russia, can their war affect Africa if African leaders are really using their senses? Can Ukraine and Russia fight affect Africa, African economy, if our leaders have not been slaves to white peoples? So if white people are affected, they will be affected there. These idiot leaders in Africa, they will be affected because European prime ministers are affected by Russia. And do you think I will stand here and say what Putin is doing is not right? I will ever support Putin from the beginning to the ending. I will ever say Putin is trying to protect his territory. Vladimir Putin, if you want to be a man, be a man. Die like a man, don't die like a coward. That's what Putin is trying to do. And Gambian president is standing in front of Gambians, telling them that uh, rice is costly in Gambia, everything is costly in Gambia because of Ukraine and Russia war. How did Ukraine and Russia war affect Gambian economy to make things become more worse in Gambia? How? If African leaders are not stupid and foolishly becoming slaves to white peoples, how did white man war affect Africa? How many wars do we have in Africa? They never affect African leaders because they are not interested in any African country to be developed. Syria war never affect African countries. Libya war never affect African countries. Nigeria has been strumbled, the most biggest country in West Africa. The giant of Africa, the country that we call the giant of Africa is Nigeria. But Nigeria has been strumbled and destroyed by Mohammed Buhari being slave to Americans. When Nigeria have oil, have fuel, have everything, but Mohammed Buhari is foolishly there sitting, thinking nothing, but selling all this fuel to Chinese and Americans, and the oil of Nigeria. How did that oil be is going to benefit Nigeria? Nigeria have oil, but still Nigerians are suffering. No job opportunity, no, no companies to employ the youths. Nigeria is the biggest country in that area. Nigeria is the number one first pillar of Africa. That's why white people want to do everything to destroy Nigeria. Because they know when Nigeria stands with its four legs, then Africa will stand with its four legs. But Mohammed Buhari is there. Not thinking of Nigerians, but thinking of his own selfish interest thing and his family. He's selling all the oil, Nigerian oil, to Americans. The power that Nigeria have, if Nigeria use that power, if Nigerian president can use that power intelligently, then the whole Africa will be liberated at once. Not only Nigeria. Nigeria is more powerful. Go and ask people who, we have, who have been fighting. How many European countries that Nigeria have fought for them? Have fought for them? In 1870s, go and ask peoples. They will tell you. In 18, 1870s, Nigerian soldiers were the most strongest. And still they are the most strongest. But look at what is happening to Nigeria now. Ordinary kidnappers destroying Nigeria. Ordinary Boko Haram destroying Nigeria. Ordinary people who steal from peoples destroying Nigeria. Ordinary Fulani destroying Nigeria.